the Smart Notebook How to Video series. This video is how to create a Monster Quiz lab activity. Monster Quiz is an interactive quiz with multiple choice and true and false questions. Using their mobile enabled devices, students can help their team grow lovable monster characters by correctly answering their teacher prepared questions. I'm a teacher and in an open notebook file and on a new page, I want to create a smart lab monster quiz activity. I go to the top menu and I press the lab icon to open the smart book lab wizard. In the list of activities, I'm going to press monster quiz and a wizard opens up that I can use to create this activity. Before I start creating the activity, um, at the top right, there is a help button that you can press that opens the details about lab activities on the support site. Next to that, you can press the hamburger icon to open the manage content window, which gives you the ability to create custom lists that you can use in other activities. Now let's create this monster quiz activity. First, I'm going to select my question type, true or false. Then I'm going to type in my first statement or first question. There are two solstices in a year and this is true so I'm going to make sure that true at the bottom is selected. At the top right I'm going to press add question and then I'm going to type in my second question or statement which is the summer solstice occurs in July and this is false, so I'm going to go down to the bottom and make sure that false is selected. I can continue adding questions. I have seven questions and I can continue adding them until all seven questions are done. I suddenly realized though, before I continue, that I've already added these seven questions in for another lab activity that I already created. So instead of typing out all seven questions, I'm going to go up to the top where there's a hamburger with a plus sign and I'm going to open that and all the questions I want are in the solstice review so I'm going to tap that and I'm going to press load. So right now although I have just seven questions I have nine right now because I had originally typed in those first two questions which are repeated further down. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to delete the first two questions so that I'm back to my original seven questions. When I'm done, I can tap previous and add in more questions if there are different questions to add or I'm just going to tap finish because I'm done right now. So this creates my monster quiz activity. Now before I start the monster quiz, I want to have my students join. So over on the right there is a icon that I can press here and it opens up my window and I'm going to open this arrow up that's on the top left and that's going to give the information to the students um, where they can log into classlab.com and log into the activity code here. So I'm going to close down this window and I'm going to start the activity and the first thing I'm going to be asked is to divide my students into teams. I'm going to press divide into teams and I can have all the students in one team working collectively to create the monster or I can split them into multiple teams. So I'm going to split them into two teams. I'm okay with the students being here. If I wasn't okay, I would simply drop and drag their names into the other teams like this. When I'm satisfied with all the teams, or sorry, I'm going to press start quiz. So right now the students are logging in and they're going to complete all the questions in the game and they're going to let me know when they're all done. The team that answers the questions all correct first win the game. When the game is complete, I can tap the review button. Let's do the class review now and look at all the questions 
by scrolling up and down. Go check out the other videos in this how-to video series. Thank you.